Hello, I'm Shonda Schilling, wife of baseball star Kurt Schilling and a melanoma survivor. Here's my skin cancer story. I was a summer loving beach kid and, and when I couldn't go to the beach, I was on the rooftop of my parents' house. I probably started really laying out for the cosmetic reasons when I was in high school. That's when you sat on the beach all day long and you didn't move except to flip from one side to the other or to turn your towel a little so that the sun was hitting you directly. I don't remember ever going to um, the drugstore and even really seeing but one or two bottles of sunscreen. It was either burn, burn real bad, or burn your skin off. I realized that something was wrong when we were traded here, um, and that was in 2000. And it's different here. It's sunny every day, and, and the sun is intense. And I would go outside to get the mail, and the spot in the center of my back would start to, to burn and itch. And um, I knew that something was wrong, but I didn't I didn't, think, I didn't think skin cancer was a big deal, so I knew I, I thought I was just prolonging just getting the spot taken off. I don't ever remember seeing stories about people losing their life to skin cancer. And, and I think that happens to us a lot of times. We don't pay attention to stories that don't affect us directly or we know somebody with it. The first time I heard the term malignant melanoma was on the phone that night. And he said, Shonda, you have malignant melanoma. This is what we're going to do. And you have a 95% survival rate. And it really took about uh, the surgery, one, and seeing how much of my back they took out. And then having people come up to me and tell me how many people had died before I realized how serious it was. They took six inches in length out of my back of the original spot. What worried me the most was that I wouldn't be around to raise my kids and that I may have been the cause of that. That was the hardest part for me. There wasn't a brochure. There wasn't anything that said, here's some tips. So I really felt like I needed to do something. I needed to make a difference. I look at it as the genesis of the Shade Foundation came from probably one of the darkest days of our lives together. And out of that day and out of those you know, incredibly horrific memories came the Shade Foundation. It was a way to heal, but it was also a way to make other people heal too. You realize how many people it touches, but you, you just can't grasp why nobody talks about it. We lived a lifetime in 2001. Uh, in, in a 365 day span, we experienced probably the highest of highs from a professional standpoint, from a personal standpoint, uh, and the lowest of lows on both fronts too. Um, the thing that worried me the most that year was losing my wife and, and my children not having a mother. I, I knew that I wasn't ready to handle a, f a family uh, and kids with no mom, but I, more importantly, I wasn't ready to, to have my life partner gone. You know, I was just lucky enough to have an early diagnosis. When I sum up what the Shade Foundation is today, uh, it has saved, my wife has saved people's lives, literally saved people's lives. And those are the people that change the world. And, and I'm married to one. And it's a pretty neat thing when you think about it. Here at the Shade Foundation, we're hard at work raising awareness of skin cancer and helping communities prevent new cases. Every year, we provide grant money for schools and community groups to create shade on playgrounds and public spaces. In the classroom, we introduced the SunWise program with the help of the Environmental Protection Agency. We also run a school poster contest to drive home the message of prevention. We can help you raise awareness in your community and save lives. Visit shadefoundation.org to find out how. Thanks again for watching and taking the time to learn about us.